All right, the third type of return path is retargeting. All right, retargeting. And uh, if you haven't heard of, of retargeting or remarketing, uh, as it is sometimes uh, referred to, then, then let me give you kind of a, a very quick explanation of remarketing, and then we'll go on and look at some examples and, and how to deploy it. So the basic idea goes something like this. A visitor uh, comes to your site. So an internet user, they come to your site, and then they leave. Now, this is unfortunate, right? Obviously, we wish that everyone who came to our website stayed and took the desired action, whether it's to opt in or to buy. But let's face it, even if you have an amazingly, astoundingly awesome conversion rate, the vast majority of your visitors who come to your site will leave. They will go through these steps. So now what, right? Do we just give up? Do we say all oh, ho-hum? I mean, the exit offer, which we talked about before, will maybe get some of them, but even that, the majority are going to leave. So what do you do then? Well, that's where the magic of retargeting or remarketing comes in. When they hit your site, the technology actually sets a, a cookie. It sets a tracking pixel. Now this is no different than a tracking pixel that are already in place. The same type of tracking pixel that gets set when, when you arrive at a, you know, a, a site and you log in and it remembers who you are. So when you come back, you don't have to re-log again, again, and again, and again. It's that same type of tracking pixel. There's no, you know, personally identifiable information. It, it's pretty basic standard stuff. It's not like, you know, Big Brother is watching you or anything like that. But that tracking pixel is set on this visitor. So now, as this visitor browses other websites that are on the internet, where those websites have ad blocks, where they display advertising, instead of there being just some random ad, you can show them your ad. You see how that works? So as they're browsing, you can show them your ad. Now, when they see an ad for your site, remember they came here, now they're on a different site and they're seeing the ad for your site, they're thinking, oh, that, that's interesting, yeah, I, I remember that. And hopefully that encourages the internet user to come come back and convert into a paying customer. Either way, when they come to a web page and now those ads are following them all around, it, it, it definitely lifts your, gives your brand a nice lift, again, if you do it properly, but it's fantastic for as a return path. They came, they left, retargeting ideally brings them back. Now, how you go about executing a retargeting strategy is very depending on your market. So what we're gonna do in some of the videos that follow is we're gonna be showing you some of the ways that we do it here at Digital Marketer and that you can hopefully apply to your business and your brand. So let's go to those videos right now.